Indeed lads, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I got for you guys the best 1 million coin squad builder to build right now in the game of FIFA. So pretty much what we're going to do is run through each player one by one in this formation for chemistry purposes only. There's going to be some players at a position, but in game they're going to play in the correct position that I apply them to. So we're going to get into that. Then I'm going to hop into the formation, the tactics that I recommend the squad plays in, and then eventually the game to see just how good this squad is on the pitch. Let's go. Starting off in the keeper position, not the first, not the second, but the third in form of Lafont, boys. Now, I was lucky enough to get him in red picks, but this guy's only 20k on the market. Being 20k on the market for this card, it's an absolute steal. So get your hands on him, get him in your squad now. On to the left back position. The best left back in the game right now, Delane. I don't care what anybody says, this guy here is absolute top tier. Five star, weak foot, 5'11", that high medium work rates on him. Take a look at the pace, take a look at the defending, the physicals, 90 stamina last year game, and he even has like a decent ability to go forward with his dribbling and passing, bro. This card, very well-rounded, can do it all. In the left center back position, a bit of a boring card here, man. Everybody uses this guy, but it's for a reason, because he gets the job done, and that's all you need sometimes in a center back, Gold Presnel Kimpembe. Now, alongside Kimpembe, a new card in the game, you know, it's good to get some new faces on the pitch. Jason Denier will give you that. Look at this card, guys. Six feet tall, medium high work rates, three star weak foot on him. That's very, very good for playing out the back with both feet. 86 pace, 86 defending, and 86 physicals. He's looking very, very good. Throw an anchor on him or a shadow, whatever you like, and he'll be set to go. A proper center back here. Now, in the right back position, Winter Wild Card Nelson Semedo. I still use him to this day. An absolute beast of a right back, guys, because he can do it all. He can go forward and he can defend. Last you all game with a 94 stamina. I really, really enjoy using him, and I know you guys will as well. Now, in that center, center mid position, guys, for chemistry links, and also just because he's an absolute baller, future stars Kakaret. Now, this guy here, I like him because he has high, high work rates, and I always liked Frankie de Jong. And Frankie de Jong is very similar to this guy. High, high work rates, as I said before, 5'9. And take a look at the guy's stats, man. 84 pace. He's rapid in the midfield. His transition speed out of this world take a look at that passing as well i think it's even better than de Jong's. the dribbling out of this world defending and physicals this guy's got it all except for that shooting ability but other than that he gives you everything especially the outside the foot trait if he does decide to go forward and give you that option in the box or top of the box whatever it is that comes in game in the left mid position now the best card in the game that has been released in a while flashback neymar guys a proper winger four star weak foot on him we don't care he still works perfectly fine the pace was boost the shooting was boost the passing is lower that's why he's a proper winger Better stamina than this guy here, man. I can't even say too much because we all know what he's about. If you do not have this card, then get the gold Neymar. Pretty much exchangeable. So don't mind that. Get the gold Neymar if you don't have this Neymar. Or put someone else here that you would like. In the left attacking mid position now, another League One attacker, Jonathan David, team of the year, honorable mention. Now this card here has been looking good for a while since he's been released. The three-star weak foot, I mean three-star skill moves, I should say, lets him down a bit. But if you're not a skiller, this is your guy. High, high work rates, 5'10", with that five-star weak foot, 94 pace on him, guys. He's so rapid up top. You can get him behind very easily. Amazing finishing. The passing is great. The dribbling is great. And the physicals don't even get me started. This guy gives you that heading ability as well. Going all the way over to the right mid position, the links into Nelson Semedo. The perfect link, future stars Trincao. Now, this card here, guys, you know those finesse shots that you take from about 40, 35 yards out? This is your guy. He doesn't have amazing long shots. They're not bad. 86 is very good, but I don't know what it is. This guy's finesse shot was absolutely insane. He doesn't even have the trait, but this guy here cutting in from the right side into the left, shooting at far post with that finesse, guys, is all you're going to have to do with this guy to score goals. Four-star skills, three-star weak foot, high, high, six-foot body build on him. So he's going to give you that sort of, you know, strength or physicality going forward with 82 strength as well. 86 stamina, last you all game. This guy here is a proper right mid. Linking up with Trincao, guys, the king, CR7. Now, let me tell you guys, people do not use him. They sleep on him this year. I don't know why, but he's not a winger. He's not a center attacking mid. He is a striker. And when he is in that striker role, that striker position, he gets the job done. Take a look at that finish. And we all know who he is. CR7. Turn and shoot. Turn a bit of skill. Shoot. He'll get that job done for you. And he also gives you that heading ability. And last but not least, in the striker position, not the striker of the team, just for chemistry purposes, inform Bruno Fernandes. Now, this card here, very underrated as well. His team of the year honorable mention must be cracked because I use this card three weekend leagues in a row. And this guy has been the heart of my midfield going forward and defending lasting you all game with a 92 stamina i'm very very happy to recommend this card to you guys because i'm gonna put all you guys on i'm telling you all right so hopping into footman now you can see the pricing for this squad on the right hand side of your screen for all platforms pretty much this squad has 10 cam everybody except for jonathan david so make sure to have a league one manager to give him that plus one boost and after loyalty 10 games played with him he will get another plus one resulting in eight cam in all on jonathan david other than that whole team on 100 cam of course let's get into the tactics and the instructions and eventually 
the game. On to the formation. Now, the formation I recommend this squad plays in is that 4-4-2 formation. So overpowered, so very well-rounded this year in FIFA 22. Let me run through the tactics real quick for you guys. Defensive style set to balance, width set to 40, depth set to 72. Now, make sure this is 72 because this year, your defensive line tends to drop in your box. And it's very annoying. When you put 72 on, it kind of contradicts that or counters that in a way. Sometimes, not all the time, but most of the time. Build a play on the offensive side set to balanced. Chance creation set to direct passing. Make sure it's on direct passing. That way you can push your opponent's backline into their 18. It's kind of like if they have 72 depth, then it won't work. But if they don't, their backline will go all the way into their 18, make it easier to play in front of it at the top of the box area to score some goals. The width is set to 55. Players in box set to six. Corners and free kicks set to one. In game, we're going to line up like this. The pure strikers up top, Jonathan David and Cristiano Ronaldo. Left mid Neymar, right mid Trincao to make sure he cuts in on that left foot. Finesse far post green time if you feel like it's going in all day, guys. Bruno Fernandes and Kakaret in the middle. You can flip-flop them if you want. It doesn't really matter. And the back four as we had it. So for these strikers, we're going to have David set to get him behind and balanced everything else. Cristiano set to balance everything. Your left mids and right mids set to come back on defense and get into box for a cross. For the center mids, we're going to have Bruno on balance attack and cover center. Kakaret on stay back and cover center. The outside backs on stay back while attacking and overlap on both of them. And the center backs and keeper position, I do not touch a thing. So let's hop into the game and see just how good this squad is on the pitch. What do we got? What do we got here? NYC Red Devils, Ochiki, Kevin De Bruyne, and Romelu Lukaku. Oh man, this is a bad team. It's a bad team. Stuck in while Duncan Pembe. Let's see if we can find Trincao on it with that left foot. Or not. We find CR7 top of the box showing for it. Well done. I don't know what he's doing here, but we will definitely take that goal. And that's the finesse that I'm talking about with Trincao. I know that was a bit of BS, but you can see the technique on him in the animation. Well done, man. Well done. Easy as you like. Yeah, this guy, he's got to go. He's got to go. Let's see if we can go for that distant finesse shot with Trincao. Green timed. Oh my God, that animation, boys. You can already tell the quality this guy has on him, man. Good tackle, man. Denier's looking very solid. The way he puts in his tackle, the animation, he comes out with it every single time. Now, what do we got here? Cheeky sweaty or nah? No sweaties, man. That's too toxic. He's in. Portuguese lad to Portuguese lad. Can we sweat it across? Neymar, first time it. Bang, boys. Bang. Leave my game. Let's see if we can get it. Let's see if we can get it. There it is. There it is, man. Oh, my. God, Trincao, guys, I'm telling you, this left foot he has on him. Once again. Oh my God, man, bar down. Let's see, let's see, let's see. FC, IO, 9 4, Kaka, Kakaret, Varan. Solid team, man. Good ball. Is this a sweet spot? Green time. Oh my God, fingertip save, man. Well done, Delane. Good. Good steps, a metal man. He's on one. Get stuck in, Denier. And it's our ball. Delane, well done, son. Can we break? Neymar. Neymar, son. Neymar, stop it. Oh, oh. Neymar, Cito, boys. Pembe, easy as you like. Can we go wide? Good run by Neymar here, man. There it is. There it is, bro. Oh, man. These finesses. Not even the finesses, but Neymar and Trincao are wide. This is the perfect outside mid duo. <laughs> Joke of a goal, man. Joke of a goal. Can we break? 2v1 here. Oh. Finesse. Oh, what a finish, Jonathan David, man. Wow, post in. Well done, Trincao. Well done, Trincao. Stop it. No! No, man, what a goal that would have been. Well done, Semedo. Stuck in, and that's our ball, man. One last go. CR7. Into Bruno. Green time. There it is, man. What a strike. The power on that, guys. Oh, my God. It's too late to quit now, bud. It's 92nd minute. 
So as you guys saw, the quality in this squad defensively, in that keeper position, in the midfield, and of course in the attack, the outside mids, Neymar, Trincao, Cristiano, and David up top, guys, absolutely insane, outrageous, whatever you want to call it. This squad has everything you need. It ticks off every check mark that you need on that checklist of a starting 11 you need right now in FIFA, and that's what I'm here to do in that one mil budget. I hope I did the job for you guys, or gave you guys at least an idea, because at the end, this is only an idea of a squad. Take what you want from it. If you use this exact squad, let me know how it goes for you. Other than that, take care.